The Ministry of Agriculture's Pest Management Unit has successfully trialed biological agents in the Pearl St. Andrew area. This environmentally friendly approach targets leaf hoppers, a pest that became relevant after Hurricane Beryl. Four biological forms of control were shared with farmers by the unit. However, only one has been used thus far. This effort aims to promote environmentally friendly alternatives to harsh chemicals which are known to pose risks to human health and the environment. Farmers Brendan James and Terry Evans, who have used the biological agents spoke positively about their effectiveness noting significant yield improvements after the hurricane especially the okra we were faced with a kind of yellow yellow leaf and the production was was limited and um well, there's evidence of old field there where, where you all came in and 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 i received the biopesticide and um this field here i can't complain and then I have a fill up on top and I receive um, a good yield from it. And then the extended period, which is, which is um, important. And then I have a young fill now, which you can you know, look at that I now thing and I've been spraying it, using it and I find it, it working a little, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then what also happened to, like during the fill, like when the field getting old, you saw a plenty, plenty fly in your, in your face when you're going through the field. But now, I haven't seen that around. I believe it's the way forward, the way to go. I use it about three times. And I've got very good control. But on the next side now, I don't really like to spray that much to them. It start coming back a lot again. But in terms of these products, I feel like the best I ever um, Use only this I've been using as it three times, ten the um, interval, and I've got good control. Francis Noel, pest management officer, is keen to see all farmers adapt the more environmentally friendly options. We decided that we're going to do the trials with them and see if we're going to make a difference. And based on what we would have seen on both farms today. The farmers was able to attest to the results and what they would have seen and the increased yields and they have been able to plant new crops even alongside the older crops that are infested and it's growing nicely. It's a lot of production. They are seeing increased yields from the production compared to before they started doing the treatment. But in any event, we still have the botanicals like the Baronim, the Nimex, the Neomectin, Kyo, Admire. These are insecticides that are certified to be used, that can be used in organic systems. So you can use these in cases where you have, um, you need to bring down the population of pests very quickly. The main product used is BioCatch, with additional options such as BioCure. B and BioQF, all containing naturally occurring organisms concentrated to combat pests and diseases. While these products are deemed safe, Noel advises farmers on the proper disposal of container after use. Disposal have to be done with responsibility because they are toxic to fishes, they are also toxic to bees, so we have to make sure that we spray early in the morning, late in the evening to prevent you know, harming the bees and dispose of it properly so that we don't affect the fishes. So rivers and lakes, that's a no-no. If you have any leftover from spring, you dig a hole in the ground and you empty there or you just repeat sprays until you would have exhausted your, your, the residues in your, in your equipment. When you clean the equipment, you also have to be mindful where you're going to pour your run of water because you don't want to get it into the drains or into rivers and ponds and stuff like that. The Pest Management Unit plans to extend trials to cucumbers and celery and welcomes other farmers interested in participating. Christina John, GBN News.